Turn your cord from this. into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Time, formerly known as Chris Time FK7. And as you can see, I am sitting in the Accord because today we're gonna to be turning a boring sound into a more aggressive sound and it's gonna be well worth it. It's gonna be well worth the purchase as well as well worth the installation. Let's go. Go ahead, rev it. Keep going. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. Go ahead. Oh, they gave you a shirt? No, it's not a shirt. Oh, is that a hat? A hat. Oh, that's cool. Was that extra or did, was it included? It's probably some extra. It was included, but, you know. Clamps? So this is what you get, guys. You have your mufflers, but no resonator, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of uh, curious on what this is going to sound like once we install this onto the car. Also, for those of you who are wondering, you don't get any tips uh, because you're, it's going to be using your stock tips. Today's sponsor is MuCar. So they sent over one of their units. It's called a MuCar CDE. 900 so this is basically an obd2 sensor that you just plug in your car uh, to run some diagnostics and to see what is going on so this is what the box looks like as you can see uh, mu car cde 900 the most cost effective personal scanner get your car a professional doctor most of the obd2 scanners uh, their screens are pretty small uh, this one has a 4 inch screen. Resolution of the screen is 480 by 854 pixels. Uh, so it's sort of clear, it's not HD clear, but who the hell needs an HD screen if you're just gonna run diagnostics from your car. You don't need a super clear OLED screen. So basically tore up the packaging from the back. First thing that you're gonna see is a USB-C to a USB-A. You plug this into your OBD2 port, quick start manual. Bang, look at this, guys. This is a pretty good looking device, actually. Okay. So there you go, that's what the screen looks like. Then on the back, quality on this product is actually built to last because uh, it has like this plasticky slash rubbery uh, material so if you drop this on the floor uh, it should be fine since we're gonna be testing out the device I unplugged my mass airflow sensor we have a little logo startup screen so this device is actually also touch screen it also has buttons which you can use as well this device also supports Wi-Fi it looks like it's running Android because this is what the Wi-Fi menu page looks like there's also a pre video cool look at that does this have speakers it does not have speakers that would be cool though if it did have speakers but regardless have you ever seen a video play on a obd2 reader so this is what the interface looks like as your basic functions obviously your codes and stuff you can erase codes you can um, test your sensors, live data stream. Maxine, you ready, buddy? I'm about to turn the car on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and read codes. Let's go. There you go. Now it detected the mass airflow, uh, the P0102.
there you go. <laughs> it even has emojis, guys. This thing has emojis. Have you ever Googled on an OBD2 scanner? This is my first time. But I'm gonna search myself. Chris time. Search. So unfortunately, uh, it doesn't let you Google anything else, but you can click around. The buttons actually feel really nice. They're nice and responsive and they give like a, like a satisfying click. This device also has, uh, I guess you would call it like subscription fees. Four in one package, uh, ECM, SRS, TCM, ABS. But then again, uh, this will be always updated because it connects to the Wi-Fi and it has frequent updates. All right, guys, so we jacked the car up and looking underneath the Accord, as you can see, we have this. It's similar to the Type R's exhaust where it's just one big piece. First thing that we need to do, it looks like, is we need to remove this shield right here to get access to the exhaust. That's where we're gonna be unscrewing it. Uh, right there, there should be three. And then we also, it looks like we have to get rid of this brace right here. So there's four screws, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, he's already unscrewing it. Phillips screw right there. The, the first screw was right here next to this aluminum plate right here. And then there was another one right here, which didn't want to come off. We actually threaded the, the bolt so what I did was I took one of my saws and then I just sawed off the plastic. Um, and then on the side, there was a push pin that we removed. Once you remove that, you're now able to drop this down. I know there isn't a lot of space underneath the car, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Work with what you have. Um, and this is all we have. So we managed to get one bolt off without any issues, but these two right here were rusted. So we went ahead, sprayed some WD-40 on them. Take the bolts off over there. There's an exhaust mount right here. Resonator, and then if we go down further, there's more exhaust brackets over there that we need to get rid of. And um, that should take care of this exhaust. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we loosened up the bolts in the front guys. So now we moved on to the rear. So as you can see, there's an exhaust bracket right here. Uh, so what we did was I sprayed WD-40 and then we just pulled this off. So now it's just hanging like that. So now on the back, as you can see right here, there's another exhaust mount right there. We took that off. There's also one on the other side. So if we go over here, there's another one right there. Once you get those off, then this exhaust should come off. Um, one thing to note guys, you can actually unbolt this so that one of your exhausts uh, on the driver's side will have like a muffler delete, which unfortunately I'm not gonna do in this video because it's rusted. So we just sprayed it and this whole thing was easier to take off. And then obviously we use the prying tool. Is it showing? Yeah, showing. Yep. That's out. Use your hands. Okay. Whoop. Uh, There's the exhaust. That shit off. Done? <laughs> yeah, we have one more. Oh, it's not recording. There. Huh? Go ahead and pull it. There we go. Finally got the exhaust off. So if you guys want to hear like a cold start, not really a cold start, but a warm start of the Accord without the exhaust, uh, let's hear let's it. Let's do it. <laughs>
This <laughs> is the Honda Accord exhaust. <laughs> Oh, we can put it next to the Type R. Yeah. Alright guys, so here it is side by side. The exhaust for the Accord right here. Type R exhaust. These are both stock exhausts, by the way. So what he's doing now is he's, he's taking off all the exhaust mounts. Because we are going to be putting it on the Borla exhaust. The Borla exhaust uses the same O-ring that's here. So take this off. This essentially is gonna be what the exhaust will look like once we install it. Just don't forget about the clamps to um, make sure to clamp these together once we actually install it. We have the pipe, goes over here. And like I said in the beginning of the video, no resonator. So this is basically straight piped, but with mufflers uh, on the rear. And if you want to take a look inside of the muffler, this is what it looks like. There you go. That's as tight as it's gonna get. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's tight. All right. A test to see if this is leaking. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray this with soapy water. Uh huh. And if there's any, if you see like leak, you'll see soap, like bubbles. As you can see, we have it mounted and we have it tightened over there. We're gonna use the clamps that came with this exhaust and then we're just gonna work our way down. This. I've done this before. You got it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go, damn. The exact same thing I did on the Type 1. You gotta okay. force this shit. I'm holding it. <laughs> It's in. In? Ha! Ah! Okay. Now you can tighten it. Yep. Good. So we got one muffler in, as you can see. So the trick is, oh, um, by the way, as you can see, right here, it's not connecting to any exhaust tips, like I said. Uh, you can either use your um, OEM one or in this case an aftermarket exhaust tip so we have that uh, on the bottom it says Borla S type and then if we go over here it's connected to the mount up there and then we connected lamps so if we go all the way over here everything is pretty much connected okay and don't forget to connect that way. As you can see, we sprayed WD-40 on that uh, to make things a lot easier to put back on. And now we're in the process of putting the last muffler on, which is on the passenger side. The trick is to put it in first. Okay, don't clamp it on just yet. So let it hang like that, and then what he's gonna do, fix this first, and then spray WD-40. Then he's gonna be clamping this on the exhaust mount. Right 
Next, we're gonna go on this side. On this side right here, we're gonna put this in. Lift it up. That should be good. And there you go. So we can now tighten this, put the clamp on, and we're done. And we should be done. You should be done. Cool. Oh God, it's so much better. Grab it. Grab it. You can see, you can hear the bubbles already. Everything is installed. We're just putting everything back together. And uh, yeah, we should be done. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That loud. Yeah. It's better though. Something. Yeah. That was good burbling though. It was like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. If you force it too much, mm -hmm. there will be like that thing. Turn right. Make a left here, and then this is where you can go back and forth. Damn! Keep going yeah. until you hit the sign. Oh, it's the sign. Yeah. Watch out for the deer, though. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> All right, right here is good. Yeah, you can hear it. I'll show you later with this.
Anyways, guys, that was well worth the installation. I highly recommend anybody that has a Honda Accord, whether if it's a 1.5 or a 2.0, to install an aftermarket exhaust, uh, especially this Borla S-type exhaust, because it sounds so freaking good. It sounds better than the Type R, which is amazing. Like, I want these burbling on the Type R without having to tune your car. Uh, whereas on this Accord, you just slapped on the Borla S-Type, there you go, you have burbles, you want something louder, there you go. You don't want to tune your car, this is perfect, because, like, not only are you going to save your warranty, but, like, it, it's an easy install, as you just saw, uh, we were just in our garage, and we were just using a couple of jack stands and floor jacks to uh, lift the car up. So yeah, you don't need no fancy lift. But yeah, I highly recommend doing this um, if you haven't already to your Honda Accord because it's really gonna put a smile on your face. What do you think of the Accord build so far? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, again, I wanna go over the some of the mods that we've done to the car so far. So we have a front splitter, carbon fiber Honda badge, window visors, blacked out chrome. Uh, we haven't tinted the windows yet. Then we have the black door handles, duckbill spoiler, diffuser, these custom lights, and the exhaust. But yeah, guys, I think the Honda build has come a long way. It still kind of looks like a plain Honda Accord, but it's it looks a little bit sportier, uh, especially with the new exhaust on. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I want to know your feedback. Um, and what more can we do? Obviously, we need to lower it, add some wheels, put some tin on, uh, you know, the basic stuff. But I still want to know what you guys think. Again, this is Chris Time, formerly known as Chris Time FK7. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.